go ahead and get started on retoping of a dinosaur bone. So uh, for some of you, this is the first time working with ZBrush. So uh, when you open it up, it usually pops up an advertisement and when it goes to sleep, it'll show like the coolest ZBrush sculpts of the day. Uh, first thing you wanna do is just go ahead and hide this out. Uh, so it's out of there and we're gonna, don't click on here, you'll start to draw. You wanna go ahead and start importing uh, your dinosaur bone. So these have been scanned at the library. So uh, this should be on your desktop or we'll pass around a USB so you can get it. So this is an OBJ and also the PNG. Uh, the PNG we're gonna get into in just a second, but we're gonna do the object first just to bring into uh, the scene. All right, so what we're gonna do is click and drag with your mouse, your left mouse, click and drag and let go. Immediately, do not click anymore. Uh, you have to go immediately to edit object. Now, if you had clicked again, you would have like multiple bones and basically you have to restart the whole uh, program. All right, so this is a pretty amazing scan. You can see it's almost, it looks like it's watertight. It looks like the software uh, has made it watertight. Now, sometimes if you're doing uh, data from older scanners or even really photogrammetry, you're gonna have holes. And so we're gonna get into DynaMesh. So we're probably overkilling what we're gonna do in this demo, but I'm kind of setting you up for any data that will come your way. A lot of it, it will be dirty. You'll have flanges, you'll need to clean it up. So anyways, this is looks like a pretty professional uh, scan. So we're gonna move on. I'm gonna show you how to get the texture on there and then I'll stop and then uh, keep adding to this video. All right, so what we wanna add is that texture that we uh, show uh, saw in that uh, file. So we're gonna go into texture and we're gonna go ahead and import that other texture. So it's a PNG, sometimes they're JPEGs and sometimes Targa files, uh, whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and open it and you can see it, uh, it is there. So what we're gonna do down now is gonna add that texture to this model, okay? So there's a few things that we have to do. First, import the texture uh, or it won't show up and then we're gonna add it here, all right? So we're gonna go, uh, it always takes me a, a while to figure out where this is. Okay, so uh, new from UV map. And then I'm gonna click on here onto this. This is uh, showing the UV map and I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna grab our, basically our PNG, all right? So if you didn't import it, it wouldn't show up here. You, would you can't import it at this point. You have to go back to uh, the texture and import it. So I'm gonna click it and you can see uh, it looks pretty cool, but it's not uh, correct. So we have to do a little bit of flipping. And I don't know why some software, once you get in ZBrush, you have to flip uh, some of the UVs. All right, so we're gonna uh, go into UV map. And again, you kind of have to click around, but you're gonna have to find this where it says adjust. UV map and adjust. And we're gonna flip the V. So this is on the V axis. There's a U and a V. Actually, it's an X and Y axis, so I'm not really sure what this means. But we're gonna flip the, the V. All right, click on that. And now you can see uh, all those colors are matching up with uh, what we have there. All right, uh, I'm gonna do that again, flip UVs and you can see that. All right, so looking pretty awesome. All right, so I'm gonna stop the video right here. Uh, so I will add uh, more videos to this, but this is a starting point for this, just in case I need to go back.